I'm Jessica here and I'm back to a new Simpsons video and this is a new re-reviewing of my favorite Simpsons episodes and this is a very special one that I really enjoy especially the debut of one of my favorite characters that sadly did get killed off though but it starts with Mr. Burns doing this thing and we see some of the nuclear employees having to clean up and see Homer just goofing around and yeah he ends up falling very brutally as well even Beaver's taking his clothing and getting sucked into the turbines but it was just a dummy yeah Homer faked his death <laughs> so they can just do whatever they want now and Ned Maud the Reverend and his wife are very sad about Homer's passing. But of course, Marge is wondering, what are you even talking about? Homer's not dead. And even Selma and Patty come with an actual Homer tombstone. And, sees, and they're like, now we can find you somebody better. Which not making the whole situation helpful. And yeah, they're even doing their power because it's... it's it's licensed by Homer Simpson. So, Homer is having to go and tell him that he's not dead. And saying that... Saying that... Looks at the tombstone. At the angel and says that... That's my mother's grave. My dad always point it, points it to me when we pass by. And the guy is like... Homer Simpson, maybe you should go up there. Really go up there and look. And... Yeah, it turns out it's not his mom's grave. And he sees his grave and falls in. And then this girl, this old lady comes and tells Homer to get out of this grave. And then they realize that, Homer realizes that it's his mom. And he says that he thought she was dead. And Homer's mom thought she, he was dead. And then this guy is like, dang, is nobody in the cemetery dead? And then we see this guy just coming out of this casket while he getting lower down and Homer introduces the family to Homer's mom and yeah the kids are very happy that their grandma is alive and yeah she just hugs them and Marge is very happy to have a mother-in-law <laughs> she's very happy and yeah Lisa especially is getting very touched though because she even mentions that she felt like she was adopted but after meeting homer's mom that she knows how she fits into the family and homer's doing this handstand wanting his mom to see and see she, she ducks inside the house when a police car comes by and yeah, of course, she's telling Lisa's telling Bart that she's acting kind of suspicious and sees these different identities, and they want to know the truth, which, yeah, happened for when Homer was little, and yeah, of course, Abe's still not that well back then, and her actually doing this protesting against Mr. Burns and this stuff that he's doing, and them setting off this gas and yeah even Chief Wiggum was the security guard there and it clears his acne as well and they all trample Mr. Burns and when he's about to get Homer's mom he gets hit by the door by um Wiggum and yeah now she's pretty much a criminal now and see how she kisses Homer goodbye. And, yeah, we see all these packages that she sent for Homer that he didn't even know about. And Mr. Burns says that something looks off, and he realizes that it's Mona Simpson. And they even go to the, get, try to get the police involved to get her arrested. And, yeah, Abe says Mona, and... She's like, you aged terribly. <laughs> and he's like, and she's like, you didn't have to tell Homer I was dead. It was either that or tell him that you're a wanted criminal. I mean, I know both are terrible, but it, 
probably at least the uh, one incredible thing would have been at least more stressful to be than saying that your mom was dead. And yeah, they go to the guy that was at the cemetery. At the cemetery. And then they go to Selma and Patty, which then they say the tombstone of Homer. And Marge gets a call saying to meet Homer in the kitchen. Take one last look at the family and come into the kitchen. And Homer, or Mr. Burns, is like, I've been waiting 25 years for this moment. And puts in this this tape. And then apparently it was taped over by one of his, by Smitter's songs. And he's like, sorry, sir, I must have taped over that. And then the FBI comes in and, yeah, they managed to escape. And yeah, it was actually Chief Wiggum that actually helped Homer and his mom escape. Because it was thanks to Homer's mom that got rid of his acne back in the day. And then we get this sad moment as well where she has to go back into hiding. And she says goodbye to Homer and he's like, I'm so happy I'm at least awake to say goodbye. And he yeah, so even says, don't, after hitting her head. We can tell where she gets, where Homer gets his don't. And yeah, we see her driving away while Homer's waving and just sitting on his car at the stars at night. A really, really good episode. I mean, how could you not like this episode? Especially with Homer's mom, them reu reuniting with, e with each other. Like, for real. And her backstory, too, why she left. It's understandable. Yeah, I'd like to know what you'll think. Cut the next one.